Here in Japan, vending machines are everywhere and they sell all sorts of things from food, drinks, snacks and things like that. But there are some weird kind of things that you can buy. So uh, that's my goal for today, to find some of those. So let's go. Vending machines are literally everywhere. You're almost not more than about a two or three minute walk from a vending machine. And it's not surprising that there is a one vending machine for every 27 people in Japan. Starting off, let's look at some basic machines that sell just food and drinks. In some places, such as the airport, there are some fancier machines that can offer bento boxes or even freshly squeezed orange juice. This was a really, really chance kind of find. Actually, I'm just walking down the street in Shinokubo and there is a chili vending machine. Is it? Yeah, yeah, chili, chili vending machine. Now in my research to vending machines, I heard about this one and it took me a while to find it, but in Shibuya station, there is a banana vending machine. According to the company, it's kept at like 13 degrees Celsius or something like that to keep them as fresh as possible. And actually, the company also says that uh, they are so popular uh, that people grab them on the, on the way through the station instead of going to the supermarket because it's just so convenient. While not too strange, you can regularly find cigarette machines too. This is definitely a strange one. This is just kind of like little figures in a vending machine here at the station. Toy and figurine vending machines are also quite common. I was able to find several on my travels. So I'm just walking through uh, an alleyway in Akihabara and there's actually quite a few strange vending machines starting with this one. This one is for Pokemon cards, which is <laughs> of all things. This one looks like it's for uh, DVDs for um, women, but actually I think it's the AKB48. It's a, a, a pop group that's famous here. Here is uh, more Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Oh yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh cards here. And there are also a couple of other DVD um, vending machines. So uh, I'm gonna have to take a closer look at these and uh, maybe buy some Pokemon cards. And now it's time to pivot to some genuinely strange vending machines. I have come to Akihabara because here there is a well-known spot for some really strange vending machines. And they are these ones here just behind me. So uh, let's go take a closer look. At first glance, it doesn't seem that bad. This one has like some drinks in it and that one's kind of strange, it has some popcorn. But if you look a little bit closer, you start seeing some interesting things. And then in this one, what are these? Now actually, these ones read yakitori. So I'm kind of hoping that there's not actually yakitori in there because they are definitely gonna be off. And wait, there's also a little train in there. I didn't see that. Okay, there is like a little inside. So I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. Oh, it's, it's like pitch black in here. Oh no. Oh, this is sketchy. What am I gonna find in here? Oh, okay. This is oden, which is like a sort of soupy, mix of um of foods and some more oden and looks like the rest is empty the one behind me this is kind of normal full of drinks and then over here is just a bunch of um beetle toys uh and then wait what is this is this like oh this is this is small carrots these are baby carrots and then of course a couple of more drinks and then what are these super ball oh these are bouncy balls i have no idea what this kind of thing is and there's some more drink. Oh, wait, what is this? Me, me, no, no. This is everyone's bells, I think it's written. And then there's some sweets in a tube and, and, and more trains. What, what, what is going on here? Now you may not be able to see what's in this machine behind me because of the reflections, but there are down here in the bottom, there are some like, uh, looks like uh, um, baseballs, uh, baseball balls. Uh, and there's also some like boxes with writing on that. Um, I cannot run away, I can read one. I was in junior high school and had pubic hair and I was surprised. I shaved my pubic hair with a razor. I almost cut my penis off. Also pubic hair has grown. I thought it was something like this. What is this? What, it, what is this? Wait, are these like just stories of, of what is this? I would love to know what's in these boxes and I would love to be able to read more of these stories because it's just filled with the, there's loads and there's there were ones behind as well so once you buy the ones at the front more move forward so what are these with all the machines that i've just seen in this place is this is definitely somewhere that you don't want to buy condoms from and i believe this corner is nicknamed like horror vending machine corner i can kind of see why and you know, it's kind of a little dark and dingy especially if you come here late at night um there are some very very weird things in there now I'll admit, when I learned about this next vending machine, I went out of my way to try and find exactly where it is. 
and I believe it's in here. So let's go and find it. Now, from the outside, it doesn't seem all that special, but if we come in here, there we are, I believe we found it. This is the marriage vending machine. This is for people who want to find a marriage partner. That's there are actually two, one here and one over there. That one is completely full, uh, both men and women. This one over here, it looks like it just has women in. As much as I would love, love, love to get a date from a vending machine, unfortunately, I'm not staying in Tokyo past the day, so I wouldn't be able to go on a date. Instead, I headed to the airport and found the Pikachu vending machine, where you can get some unique plushies, picture frames and keychains. And that's it for all the weird and interesting wild uh, vending machines I was able to find. There are tons and tons and tons of other strange and unique ones here in Japan. So uh, double check your uh, streets when you're walking around and you may find something interesting. And remember, if you're interested in Japan, don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, check out the Instagram and I'll see you next time.